So here is our equation for variance. And one question you may have had in our derivation was why do we divide by n? The answer is that we divide by n such that we can compare the variance of two populations that have a different number of observations. So let's see this in action. So I have a puppy named June and I have a kitten named Calvin. June and Calvin. And I want to know how much June and Calvin eat on average per day and how sporadic their eating habits are. So I'm going to measure how much they eat over six days and then use that to find the average and the variance. So on the first day, June eats four and Calvin eats three. Day two, June eats five, Calvin eats two. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to go straight down the line here. So June eats four, five, two, and then six, three, four. And Calvin on days two and three eats five and one. But then on day four, I'm going to let my dad take care of Calvin. My dad had a bad day. He likes Calvin. Calvin makes everybody happy. So for days four, five, and six, I actually don't get to measure how much food Calvin eats. But I still want to do my experiment. I still want to see what they eat on average and how sporadic their eating habits are. So first thing I want to do is just plot these numbers and visually inspect them. So June, um, oh, I should note that, okay, so I'm calling this the day. So this is day I, so day I, June, with a big J underscore I, this means that June eats four on day one. So on day one, June eats four, five, two, six, three, and four. Calvin, we only have three days of data. Three, five, and one. So on first inspection, they both look pretty sporadic. I would expect that the variance is similar. So let's go ahead and calculate it and see what happens. So the first thing is that we need to calculate the mean. We need to calculate the X bar. For June, it's going to be a J bar. First thing we do is do the sum. 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 6 is 17, plus 3 is 20, plus 4 is 24. For Calvin, the sum is 3, plus 5 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And then the average will be the sum divided by n, where n is the number of observations. For June, we have 6. n equals 6 for June. For Calvin, we have 3. n equals 3 for Calvin. So 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. And remember, this is this term in our variance. For June, I'm going to call this j bar equals 4. For Calvin, c bar equals 3. Now let's go back to our plots and draw the average across 4. and 3 for Calvin. So sure enough, if we think about variance as how much a population varies around its mean, for June, we jump up, we jump down, up and down, and then back down, back on the line. It's pretty sporadic. And for Calvin, we only have three days. But he also eats pretty sporadically, jumps up and jumps down. So I would expect that our variance is going to be pretty similar. Let's go through the process here. 
I'm going to do an intermediate step. I'm just going to calculate this inside term, xi minus x bar. For June, that is ji minus j bar. So we have 4, that's ji, minus j bar is 4, equals 0. 5 minus 4 is 1. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And 4 minus 4 is 0. For Calvin, again I'm doing this <clears throat> x underscore i, so c underscore i minus x bar, so it's going to be c bar, and c bar is 3, c1 is 3, minus 3 equals 0, 5 minus 3 equals 2, 1 minus 3 equals negative 2, and I'm not going to calculate the sum for these ones. This is just an intermediate step that's going to help us in calculating the variance. So I've now done these inside terms. Now I'm going to square them. So for June, it's ji minus j bar squared. For Calvin, it's ci minus c bar squared. And I've already calculated the inside here. That's right here. So we have 0 squared equals 0. 1 squared equals 1. Negative 2 squared equals 4. 2 squared equals 4. Negative 1 squared equals 1. 0 squared equals 0. For Calvin, we have 0 squared equals 0. 2 squared equals 2 and then negative 2 squared equals 4. I'm sorry, this is a 4 here. 2 squared equals 4. Okay, so let's sum them up. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10. 4, sorry, 0 plus 4 is 4, plus 4 is 8, and now, let's pause for a second. So what did we just calculate? What is this number? This 10 for June, and this 8 for Calvin, corresponds to this is the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar squared. So 10 and 8 is this part right here. And we can immediately see that June's variance, if we want to call this variance, is higher than Calvin's. And I don't necessarily think that's true. I mean, looking at how sporadic these are, I mean, my, I might even think that June might be lower in terms of how much these points vary around the mean. So, sorry, uh, I said that backwards. I, I might even argue that Calvin's are more sporadic because he has a jump of two, a jump down of two, where June doesn't jump quite as much. She only jumps one here, she jumps down two there, up two and down one. So how do we get around this? Well, the quick way to do it is to just divide by the number of observations. And that's what we do. So we're going to multiply by 1 over n, which is the same as dividing by n. That's this column here, this cell here. n is 6. 10 divided by 6 is 1.6 continued. And then 8 divided by n is 3 is uh, also 1.6 continued. And so this actually turns out to be the exact same number. It didn't necessarily have to be. But this makes 
more sense to me. So what we've done is that we've allowed ourselves to measure similar things, how much June eats and how much Calvin eats, and still use the same metric variance to say how sporadic this population is. We have done 1 over n i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar squared. That's what this number is, and that is your variance. Now my example here is not great because these numbers are pretty similar. But you could imagine that, let's say that we had 100 measurements for June. And they all kind of jump up one, jump down one, jump up one, jump down one, and we continue for a whole lot of days. This number, the sum, would be really big. And yet, we would still think that it only varies a little bit. So that's why dividing by the number of observations gives us a much more valuable metric. Calvin, we only ever have three points, but it jumps up, jumps down, it varies. And we want to show that June and Calvin's food habits, food eating habits, are about the same. So this is why you need to divide by n in order to get your variance. Thank you.